Hey guys, I'm Lee from Lee Likes Music, the place to share, explore and learn about rock music from Bandcamp. And uh, in today's video, we're going to do something that is a little bit different from my previous videos. We're going to review a show, a concert by a band called Astrosaur. So that's coming up. So Astrosaur is a band that I'm a little bit familiar with before. They're not that famous as of now. They are a Norwegian prog rock band, but they also play a lot of different styles. They include so many different inspirations in their music, such as progressive rock, progressive metal. There's some gent, some jazz, some psychedelic rock in there. There's a lot of different things that they take inspiration from, and they've uh, put it all together into this cohesive album, which is called Fade In, Space Out. So uh, you might want to check out that album. Uh, I had listened to the album quite a few times before I went to the concert, and um, I was surprised to see that there was also, or I wasn't surprised, I mean, these guys are hiring people to warm up for them, of course, but I didn't know who they were from before. So this was another band called Monsterio, which is also a little bit similar to to Astrosaur. The only difference between Astrosaur and Monsterio is that Monsterio is a bit more psychedelic, hard rock inspired, I would say. They're a bit less intricate. They're not as heavy at times as um, Astrosaur. And uh, I have a few notes here that I want to talk about a little bit briefly. Monsterio did a really good performance. They are not bad live at all. Uh, I'd never heard them before, like I'd never heard their music. I was actually uh, greeting the uh, vocalist, the guitarist and vocalist when he got to the venue because I was there eight o'clock and they weren't supposed to play until nine or, or half past nine, I think. So I was there way, way early uh, for the show. And um, I talked a little bit with um, the vocalist. He seemed like a really nice guy. And... Um, yeah, I asked him if he wanted to do an interview and he said, yeah, so we might meet up next week for an interview, but I haven't set a date yet. I'm like really busy as of now, but that might be another an idea for another video that might come up in the future. But anyways, the vocalist was really impressive. He did a really good live delivery. Uh, his vocals are clean for the most part, but they're also, they have this rough feature to them when whenever he's singing he is singing clean but it is also going in, into these rough segments which was kind of nice what is a little bit of a minus or what is actually a minus on my part is that i didn't actually watch their whole set i um i don't know how many songs i missed but i arrived there a little bit late because i i actually after being there for a few minutes talking to the bartender and to the vocalist i just ended up walking to another place because I was really hungry and uh, so I, I needed to fill up my energy before the show and then I arrived a little bit late because honestly I didn't know when they were supposed to start I asked those guys like hey, when when do they start playing and I was like oh they're gonna play half past nine and I was there at that time but they had already started playing and their set wasn't really that long I think they played like three or four songs after that so my bad. Uh, anyways, the band really didn't move that much. The crowd was still quite small at the time when uh, they were playing, which is kind of sad. I wish more people would meet up a bit, little bit earlier to see them and to support them. Not that they were the main act, but nonetheless, they were, they were quite good. And um, to be honest, I didn't like their music that much when I listened to it like later on. They have a couple of albums. I checked out their newest one and some of the songs are good. Some of the songs are meh. what I wish they could do more in the future. If I was to give them some some uh, constructive criticism would be to just experiment a little bit more because I felt like I'd heard much of their music somewhere else before, which is, that that is a big negative in, in my view, in my ears. I also wish to see a little bit more movement from the guys on stage because a lot of the guys on stage, except for, for the drummer, of course, they seemed very stiff. I mean, the vocalist was like, he was moving quite a bit, but all the others were kind of standing there like, mm like that, and uh, that was kind of boring. And, and that is something that transcends into the audience as well. If the 
if the band is moving and, and really going amok, the, um, the, the, it will transfer to the crowd as well, and it will be a whole different feel to it. Of course, the crowd could have been a lot better too, and the, that would affect the band, but, you know, you gotta cooperate <laughs> in a way. That, that is at least my philosophy on, uh, at least on so, such small venues, that is how I think it works. And then, uh, after a few minutes, after a few minutes, I think they played for maybe 20 minutes while I was there, they were going off, and uh, they said, thanks for being here, and here you have Astrosaur. We're really looking forward to hearing these guys. We're big fans ourselves. Hallå, 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 folkens. Nå kommer vår siste låt. Så må vi bare sende en stor takk til Astrosaur, som ville ha oss som support. Og bare gled dere til å se dem. Vi, vi spilte jo med dem forrige helg på hulen, og det var dritvatt. So it probably took like five, ten minutes before the transitioning, before they um, got off stage and the other band, Ostrosaur, got on stage. So I talked to some people that were standing around me, enjoyed my time when I, while I was there, and um, yeah, then Ostrosaur came on, and man, these guys are, these, these guys are so good live. Like, I'm not kidding. The biggest difference that I saw, like in terms of the lighting and stuff, is that when Astrosaur came on, it was really dark. It was pitch dark. And I tried to film some of their stuff. Of course, the sound will sound crappy anyways, but I tried to film a little bit, but yeah, it's, it's impossible to see almost anything. I think the reason why it is hard to see anything here is because they had this, uh, big, what do you call it in English? They had a pro projector and they were playing this movie in the background, which was supposed to create sort of a visual vibe, give the whole musical experience a visual dimension, which was kind of cool. I think it added a little bit more to the experience, maybe not that much, but it was a little bit extra, uh, an extra thing. And yeah, that is <laughs> pretty much it. I mean, they played their songs. It was really awesome to see them live. The crowd started building some more momentum. They, the people get started moving more, basically. The band also were a lot more animated compared to uh, Monsterio. So uh, I think that added a little bit to the atmosphere as well. I think what held the band back a little bit is the fact that I think they would have sounded a lot better on a bigger venue because obviously they're playing very intricate type of music, very progressive music. They go from something that is really hard hitting, very catchy, very doomy and dark at times to something that is very lightheaded and uh, psychedelic. And um, I think that if they actually manage to amp up their visual experiences as well and couple that nicely together with the music in a bigger venue it would be even better you could hear all the different instruments it was really balanced the only thing that kind of held things a little bit back was the fact that sometimes the band would have these breaks these ambient breaks where one of the guys either the bassist or the guitarist would um they would tweak their guitars, they would, what do you call it in English? They would tune their guitars, and at times when they had this ambient break, pause, there would be some really screechy sounds with that, that just sounded horrible to me. So that was like a little bit of a letdown in, in one way. But yeah, overall, I think it was a good experience. It was not a great experience, far from a great experience. Um, I, I think Astro Store need a bigger venue. I think Monsterio could improve their music a bit. Of course, both bands could, but I think Monsterio has a little bit longer way to go in terms of that. At the end of the day, it was a positive experience. And uh, from one to 10, I would probably give this a six. So yeah, that is it for my first concert review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I would love to include more footage and stuff, but yeah. There was really not that much to have included. Like, it was pitch dark when Astrosaur went on, as you can see. So, 
Hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. If you like to share, explore, and learn about rock music from Bandcamp, I highly suggest you click the red subscribe button below. Also make sure to click that bell icon beside the subscribe button. In that way, you'll always get notified when I upload new videos to this beautiful place. Hope this added a little bit of meaning to your musical experience. And of course, hope to see you later. Stay tuned. Bye.